I've shown you how to make an incredible Christmas Day dinner. What if you could make a brilliant Boxing Day lunch and still not spend over a tenner? Well, here's how. This is my potato and veggie hash with fried eggs. The ingredients you're going to need are around about four potatoes, a good handful of carrots, half a packet of sage and onion stuffing left over from Christmas Day, six eggs, some vegetable oil and some salt. The equipment you're going to need is one frying pan, one roasting tray, a grater, a peeler and a clean cloth. You'd have the face of Marcus like the Turin Shroud, shouldn't you go, oh. <whistles> Leftover veggies that you haven't cooked, potatoes and carrots. They're still sat there in your fridge and this is a great way of using them up and making something super special and tasty on Boxing Day, all right? The potatoes and the carrots, first thing we've got to do is peel them. Just the same as the Christmas Day peeling process, do all the peeling at the same time. So hash browns is something that we've done before on Full Time Meal, but this one is a little bit different. The last one, Marcus actually cooked himself. I mean, I say he cooked it himself. Dwayne and his brother did most of the cooking. Marcus just turned up at the end and made it look good. Get yourself your cloth, kind of line the tray with your cloth, then get your grater, and then just grate. Then the carrot. Scoop all your carrot and your potato out of the grater. Then just sprinkle about half a teaspoon of salt. Just massage it together. And what that salt's going to do is draw out moisture. Pull the cloth over it. I'm going to leave it whilst I clear up. After about five minutes, I mean, you can leave it longer if you like. If you get bored, you want a cup of tea, it's no stress. You get your cloth, put all the corners together and then Start to squeeze. Look. You'd be amazed how much water comes out. And then unravel. We want to get some flavour in at this point. Something else that kind of works as a binding agent is the half a packet of sage and onion stuffing mix that you had left over from Christmas Day. And then mix it all together. Grab yourself a bit of veg oil. Start taking your mix. You don't want too much sizzle, but it'll make a noise. Or it won't. <laughs> Get yourself a spoon, push into the pan. So the vegetable hash has been cooking now for around about five minutes and it's beginning to crisp up on the bottom. Into the oven, bake it for around about an hour to an hour and a half. Plenty of time to put your feet up and have one of them lovely Boxing Day snoozes. Okay, after an hour and a half, looks like that. This is the fun bit. Get yourself a plate and then you're gonna flip it and turn it. You end up with that, this gorgeous, crispy, crunchy, golden bronze, beautiful vegetable hash. Take the frying pan, we're going to fry some eggs and serve with our hash. Cut a nice big wedge of it, grab yourself your fried egg on the top and then whatever condiment you like. Me, I'm most definitely a brown sauce man and off you go. That is a great Boxing Day treat. Fried egg with veggie and potato hash. And remember, this amazing Christmas recipe can be found on Instagram and Facebook at Full Time Meals, where you'll also be able to see dozens more pocket-friendly recipes to try at home.